Welcome to this time of reflection on Ash Wednesday. I'm Reverend Greta Hippis, and I'm glad that you have joined us to share in this time as we enter into the season of Lent. Lent is a time of prayer and reflection and preparation for the season of Easter. It is a time where we take a look at our lives and get honest with ourselves and God and say we are sorry for the things we have done that are wrong and the things we have left undone that we should do. It's a time for us to work on more closely following Jesus. I think that some people appreciate the season of Lent more than others. And perhaps there are years where we are more ready, even eager to enter into this season and have a little change of pace. But there might be other years in which we are more hesitant. We are distracted or simply not interested in engaging in this season and this gift that it provides us. Lent always begins on Ash Wednesday, and we traditionally do an imposition of ashes. As people come forward, someone takes the ashes and makes a cross on your forehead and says, remember that you are dust, and to dust you will return. We use ashes because since ancient times, ashes have been a symbol of grief and sadness, a reminder of our brokenness and our mortality. I think this past year, we have been faced with our mortality and our dysfunction in ways that we haven't be before. All of this may be on the forefront of our minds and hearts. We have experienced much death, literally and figuratively. Many of us have had way too much time alone or with just a couple people, and it has been an opportunity perhaps to see our truer selves and our relationships, and it might have been unsettling. We might feel that we are sick of looking at our ashes. And so this year, more than any Ash Wednesday I've experienced, I think it might be important for us to recognize that when we do an imposition of ashes, we take the ashes and we mix in a little oil. Like our lives, the ashes are messy and hard to deal with. And so we add a little bit of oil to help hold the ashes together, make them manageable. The oil reminds us of God's love that is working to hold us together. The oil is a reminder of God's love that is always willing to forgive us. The oil is a reminder that God desires us to be healthy and whole. This year at First United Methodist Church, we have picked a theme, a year of healing. And so our oil is a symbol of of healing, the healing that comes through God's grace and mercy and love. Lent is a time where we make changes in our lives so that our lives are more in line with God's love for us and Jesus' call to discipleship. Jesus said in the Gospel of John, I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Because love is such a powerful source of healing, our theme for this Lenten season is practicing love. And we hope that you will be intentional about doing something to practice love. 
That might mean giving up something that is unloving, giving up gossip or your harsh tone, your anger. It might mean taking on something and regularly doing something that shows love. Praying for yourself in the world. Sending cards or making phone calls to connect with others. Advocating for social justice. Donating to causes in an effort to show your love. There are so many opportunities and we hope that you find something and we want to support you in that. And so we have a number of ways in which to do that. If you like to have a daily devotional reading, we recommend Living the Way of Love by Mary B. Sullivan. The families of our children and youth will be receiving a Lenten devotional book, Practicing Love, And we also have access to a PDF free download from Bishop Jung, Together in Christ. And that is a weekly study and uh, daily readings for Holy Week. And it is about radical inclusion and racial justice. And so we commend those to your use. I would also like to invite you to join me in reading the Gospel of John during Lent. It is a gospel that uses the word love more than any of the other gospels combined. And it is an opportunity for us to practice reading the gospel together. And then if you're interested, joining me in a Zoom discussion, there are three opportunities to do that on Tuesday night so that we can check in about our reading and or our practicing love during this season. You can check out our website to find out more details about that. Whatever it is, I hope that you can find some way to practice love in this season, to remember that God takes our messy lives and adds God's love and mercy and grace and makes it into something beautiful, something to be used for the glory of God. Let us now take all of that to God in prayer. Holy God, you created us out of dust of the earth. And as we begin the season of Lent, the ashes before me remind us of our burnt and bruised lives, our betrayals and our struggles our mortality, and our regret. Thank you so much for mixing the ashes of our past and present with the oil of your loving kindness. We need your healing power so that we can love each other as you have loved us. Guide us in practicing love so that we will share your love And all will know we are your disciples as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.